And rack this episode, you start. No, no, I'm not starting yet. We'll get to that. Uh, you know, we're getting really good. You know, we're getting down to where we need to go. It's gonna be great. You know, the next game is really great. Well, let's continue on here. What you got is, uh, yeah, this is Hero Codex. So next episode, you're going to transfer hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. Basically, me reacting to a bunch of screen caps on YouTube and even art. There are responsive comments. I'm getting against these deviant lifestyles and a few other things. Trigger warning. Let's continue on with this. These people getting all ticked off because I'm telling the truth and they're trying to lie and it's just, you know, the truth is destroying their lives. You know, of course, the double standards are all over the place. Let's continue on here. Mm, person says, your main hero is really the female body model. Mm, you know, one of the main heroes. Mm, you know, uh, you know, basically a, a female, you know, a character who is basically represents female physical sex. Mm, you know, it's just the body is a female body. It's, it's got, no, got no face. <laughs> it's just a female body. <laughs> you know, I got a male body model as well, but he doesn't really say anything about that. <laughs> so it's double standard on there. <laughs> you know, the source is uh, girls, dude, dude, he's a dude, more with testicles. Dude says, you might as well just call name her to person with breasties. <laughs> as that's just about as ridiculous, more descriptive, and more comedic, uh, you know, but ridiculous. Mm, not what I'm trying to go for. I say, thanks, but I'm okay with what I named her. These are just physical recitation of human bodies. <laughs> you know, Simple. Mm. This person says, "Isn't her name a bit insulting?" Uh, no, mm -hmm. you might as well call her a barely sentient meatbag number one. Mm -hmm. I say she is just the representative of the female human body, so female body model works just fine. Mm -hmm. You know, well, and then the dude tries to insinuate because he loves to insinuate. He says, "Yes, and that's insulting because I say it is. Uh, she should be more than a pair of a boobs with legs." But then again, this, that's all you see when you think of women, the word "woman," isn't it? Uh, no, no, <laughs> a pair of boobs with legs and ovaries attached. No, uh, no, no. They gotta write something. Yeah, they gotta write something. Gotta push it too far. Mm. Something. Mm. No, that's the person who has a female body. I am just talking about the body here. <laughs> you know? I'm literally not afraid of anything except for being seen what I, you know, as I, what I don't want to be seen as. Mm. Of why you think we do all this stuff? Mm. You know, why do you think we lie about biological sex with preferred pronouns? Why do you think we are basically getting our bodies poisoned with uh, unnatural amounts of hormones of the opposite sex mm. so we can sound and look more like the opposite sex so we don't be seen as what we, what we are physically, stereotypically seen as? Mm. You know, and of course, why do you we go through all the gender reassignment surgery and get our bodies mutilated, you know, so that we can lie more effectively about what what biological sex we are or not, you know, sex you are, and stuff like that. Why do you think we do all this stuff? Because we're deathly afraid. But I'm saying I'm not afraid because, of course, we deny everything. Yeah. Then you want the girl? So it's the girl. The girl. I remember the girl. Uh, I'm literally not afraid of anything except for being seen as something you're not, you're, you, you, you see, you see as something you don't want to be seen as. Uh, I'm not afraid of my female parts or my XX chromosomes. I just can't wait to get <laughs> FTM surgery, um, get her genitals mutilated, and at least change my gender features mm, so she can lie more effectively. Mm. I'm going to invent chromosome transplants. Mm, you know, all three laugh to your cry emojis. Mm. I say, um, you said that you were afraid of getting pregnant. Mm. <laughs> and she says, how does that correlate with my female? Parts. I can't wait till I'm unable to get pregnant. <laughs> it's just like, hey, hey, wait till I'm unable to do that and get pregnant anymore. Like, you know, because organs are what can get you pregnant. <clears throat> You talked about damaging them so you don't have to fear that anymore. So you are afraid. You don't have to be. Pregnancy is perfectly normal for people who are born with ovaries and a uterus. <laughs> you know, this is the problem. You know, there's a generation that's up that is basically you know, grown up growing up today who is are afraid of things they should not be afraid of. <laughs> you know, physical things about their bodies. You know, they have the lack of education going on all over the place. You know, people are freaking out, <laughs> you know, you know, normal stuff is being seen as as, as messed up and then you have to figure out a way to stop it. I remember that story. I think I've told this before. Well, there was this one girl, Christian with ovaries, in a documentary, who was about eight years old, who was saying she's, she's having trouble sleeping because she's afraid it's going to happen when she goes through puberty. Mm, right? I was thinking, okay, her, her mother should be able to help her out. You know, mm, she's gone through puberty. Everything went out just fine. She could tell her, her daughter, it's all good. You know, I mean, I'm with you. I'll help you out with that. You know, mm. then we get the bad news. They get the bad news. That her daughter is starting to go through puberty, you know, and I'm like, the mom's freaking out, you know. I'm like, what? You know, she says something to the effect of, "I we gotta figure out some way to stop these female hormones from raging through her." I'm like, they're not raging. She was born with ovaries. She's a female, a female human. They're doing what they're supposed to do. So I'm like, how, how could how did this things get this bad? What the heck? You know, so that's why this. The leads and stuff like this. Females. 
He's like freaking out. <laughs> like, but, 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 I, I don't want to look like this. Too bad. <laughs> Males freaking out. I don't want to look like this. Too bad. <laughs> that's the way you look. That's the shape you get. That's the size you get. That's the clothes you get. Those are the rest of the you get. You got to learn to live with them. <laughs> there it goes. Did you want face? <laughs> Um, she says, "I." <laughs> this is one of the saddest things ever. She says, "I'm not afraid of getting pregnant. I just can't wait till I'm unable to." <laughs> I'm like, why? <laughs> <You know? laughs> so bad. Uh, smiley face. And I say, "What? Why? It's not like it's a death sentence." And the heckler comes in because she always comes in, uh, and he's like, "Some people just want to give birth." What the effing shock? What an effing shocker! Am I right? I'm like. Mm. But there's no need to transition because of that. They can practice safe for sex. Because mm-hmm. I hate children with a passion, says the girl. Mm-hmm. That's bad news. Mm-hmm. The dark side must be fun. Uh, we always transition in order to avoid having kids. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. What do you think she's doing? Mm-hmm. You know, get it through your thick skull, through lies. Mm-hmm. Like, no. The one I was like, the convenient side effect, isn't it? I say. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, Home dude says it's a big deal to you. And everyone wants to have kids, and everybody thinks of losing the ability to do so is a terrible fate. Got it? Like true. And that's my stuff. We need to keep making babies. I don't want us to die out. <laughs> you know. And you go with this one. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Later, later. I say to um. She says, I got to hate children with passion. And I say, sure, they can be jerks. Why? Sure, they can be jerks. They need us older people to help them learn that they don't have to be. And if you want to lower the chances of getting pregnant, they can still have fun and find a guy worth marrying and marry him and practice safe sex. No need for surgery then. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Boom, done. Uh, of course, she's not interested in that because uh, that's not traditional. <laughs> you know, to today's tradition of, of rampant <laughs> it's just you know, debauchery. <laughs> Someone says, the yard is other bull crap, other crap. And, I'm, uh, and I said, can you do it better? Yeah, in all sorts of ways. <laughs> this is the person that was uh, you know, saying I was awesome earlier. <laughs> you know. Uh, no, oh yeah, yeah. This one, this one knows, and she says, "Again, have sex for sex, for sex. No need for surgery." Then and she says, "I'm not straight. I'm a gay guy. Mm-hmm. Lol, with ovaries in the uterus." Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm-hmm. female. Mm-hmm. And I say, "Bury a guy should be no problem." Then, mm-hmm. <laughs> then she's like, "Why would I want to marry mm-hmm. to cut down pregnancy and STD risk?" Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't find the right one to handle my problems. I don't want to get married. Lol, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm like, oh, that works for me. Oh, you do find that person. I don't care what works for you. You are far from important. Throwing off my butt off, but you may. But I was still saying for learning to extending, for learning to accept your body as is. Mm. Well, great for me not to, because you or nobody else is going to stop me laughing my butt off. Mm. I mean, it's horrible stuff. Mm. I get ready for you to understand that you don't have to transition. Mm. You're not saying anything to stop me from transitioning. Go ahead, shoot your shot, try and fail. Lol. Like I say, gladly, I will have done what I was commanded to do. It's up to you to choose life or death. Mm. I'm not going to die if I transition a little my photo. But you're saying you may end it all if you don't transition. We'll have a new transition. It doesn't give you what you want. <laughs> I will laugh my off as long as it gives me a flat chest and a, a penis. I'm happy. <laughs> then it won't work. You should learn to accept your body as it is. Yeah, no, they don't. It's not a penis. I'm like, no, I accept my body when I'm a boy through lies. <laughs> I said, you'll never be a boy. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with that. And also, no, I said you want to be male, not that you want to be strong. Those two different things. Mm. I'm a guy right now through lies. Mm. You know, only by stereotypes. That's not real. Mm. Uh, let's see, all this other crap. Mm. You better hear all kinds of ways. Marry me, says the, my heckler mm. to the person he was hating on earlier. Mm. I say, did you hack him? So much stupid stuff on his profile page lately. And I must be, yeah, like, I wish I hacked him. Mm. Mm. Yep, mm. most likely. Mm. Yeah. Whatever it is, something's wrong with this page. No one will call themselves all those names. I'm like, oh, something's wrong with the page. Didn't notice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course, he, she's not saying something you're like, agree with. She had no problem with it. Mm-hmm. Nope. They are saying something objectively correct through lies. Mm-hmm. That's why I had no problem with it. Mm-hmm. I like eating what's is correct. Mm-hmm. Your order is crap is objectively correct because I say this. Because mm-hmm. I don't like what it's saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, it isn't. It's a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Let me explain why you, you made this comic for you <laughs> through lies. <clears throat> you know, you're a talentless transphobe, but it's mid thirties. There's nothing else to live for. Uh, wrong. Mm, you know, by the look of it, you spend every waking minute of your day frivolously trying to convince trans people to stop being trans. Mm, stop lying about the radical sex. Mm, so stop it. I never once says a word in your favor because I say it hasn't. Mm, you're a you're sad, bigoted, strange little show of a man, and you made the comic because you was literally all you have. Like, ooh, swing and a miss. I made this comic to explain why I believe what I believe. And sure, but not look the rest. You can understand it. That's what it counts. That is what counts. I'll fight this fear of biology with everything I have. You should not be freaking out when the body's squirt like you're supposed to. Nice swinging hit, more like, oh my god, that's it, and it goes over the foul line. <laughs> yeah, you're. 
So it's like the wasteful, I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm. 